Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Hey Grains and welcome to unboxing mystery boxes. Because obviously the last time I did a mystery pack, I didn't learn my lesson. I bought a hundred of them and um, this happens. So I got a hundred blind bags and they were all the same thing basically. But today we're going to be unboxing from a website called VAT19. I got three of their sizes and they cost me around $300. So as you can see on the screen, we have the small, medium, and large, or as they like to call them, small, large, and ultra mega. And in case you wanted a scale, here it is next to a large Starbucks coffee. And if that's not enough for you, here it is next to my salt shaker plushie holding a resin knife. I hope that gives you a scale. This video is not sponsored by VAT19, but in case those of you who don't know, their website is basically curating weird things all over the internet, so it makes it easier for you to look for weird things. And I've shopped from there before, for example, for weird foods that Sika and I tasted in a previous video where we had bacon flavored soda, ranch flavored soda, and so on. So what I'm really curious to know is, are these boxes worth it? Or is it just overstock of stuff that no one really cares about? So I'm going to let you know which one is is worth more bang for your buck. And one of the things immediately that I noticed is on their website, the size of the boxes are accurate to what I received. So we have a person to scale, and then as you can see, the boxes seem to be the same size. And the other thing is, I really wish they put the same amount of attention to detail on all of the boxes and not just the small one. I mean, this one says small on it, but the other ones don't let me know which one is the ultra and which one is the ultra mega. I guess I have to figure it out on my own for some reason. Although the boxes do seem to be bigger, one is slimmer and just longer, whereas the other one's just wider, so I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if you've bought mystery boxes before and what was your experience. Is it something that you enjoyed or is it something that you found really underwhelming? I have to say, for the most part, most of them were extremely underwhelming, except for that one time I got a My Hero Academia box. So yeah. Oh, by the way, if you would like some tea, I'm going to let you know that a good majority of TikTokers have no integrity when it comes to making ads because I was fooled and bought from a TikTok ad from a TikToker and it turned out to be a scam company. So I have a, um, a dispute with my credit card now for having been scammed because they lied about the products. Thanks for nothing, TikTokers. Thanks for nothing. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, we do lots of weird, mysterious things here. Click on all notifications while you're there, which makes you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. And coming in at $48, let's go ahead and see what's inside the small mystery box. And to do that, we're gonna cut it open. All right, and all right, we'll start with fluff. Okay, I don't, I don't need no fluff. So, okay. A bunch of snacks. All right, let me put this away. And let's look at each one individually. I'm already actually pretty salty. So let's, let's go with each one individually. The first thing we have, which I'm the least annoyed with at this time, is a pack of cereal marshmallows. I mean, how can you be annoyed with tiny marshmallows that everyone keeps picking off of the Lucky Charm cereal? For you international grains, this is what Lucky Charm cereal looks like, and everyone's constantly just taking the, the cereal out of it. So this here, again, not too pricey. I've gotten this as a gift for my siblings from Amazon for about 10 bucks, and they do give us the value of each item on the inside. But let's first look at the items and how you useful they are to me. Or if they're just overstock of things that nobody cares about. Next is a pack of popsicle erasers. I'm not going to lie, this is probably not that great for a mystery box because I've seen erasers at the dollar store and also they're scented. Call is open! <laughs> they're also scented from the dollar store, but yeah. I'd be very surprised if they were scented differently. So let's go ahead and smell. It smells like vanilla. How about this one? Also like vanilla. It says it's fruit scented, but it's really not that fruity. Vanilla and still vanilla. So even though on their website, it is listed for $4, honestly, they're not worth that much. I mean, are they cute? Yeah, sure. But they do have some defects on them. So it's not like they're special. Defects, defects, but whatever. Next, of course, because everywhere is saturated with slime, we have hazel nutty, nutty what? Whipped slime. So 
This better be the best, best darn gosh darn nab slime ever. Out of all the things on their website, I really was hoping for something really awesome instead of just, I guess, overstock because their website really does have some fun stuff. But then just to get slimes and erasers kind of defeats the purpose of hoping to get something cool that I may not have thought about, but whatever. Let's just keep going. But this legitimately smells like chocolate spread. So yes, it does smell like Nutella. And what's the texture like? Oh, ooh, this is actually really nice. It doesn't stick grossly. It has a really nice texture to it. I did review quite a few slimes from online and they came usually pretty sticky and gross. This one is the perfect consistency. So if you're into slime and you just want to buy it individually, I can definitely say that this one is really good. I'm going to keep this for science. I'm going to definitely keep it. Next, we have this exclusive putty that's made only for their mystery boxes and it says that it's a thinking putty hyper color glow. So we're gonna go ahead and try that in the dark but first let's let's see what we could do. Apparently we can tear it, knead it, and twist it. Basically everything kind of like a slime. So we're getting two slime types of products. And according to the back of this box, it says that it does change color with the heat of our hands and it glows in the dark. So those are two pretty cool things. Let's see. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Oh, well, it smells like, wait, it smells like olives? No, it smells like nothing. I think it was just the can. <laughs> <laughs> so this color is somewhat underwhelming because it's supposed to be two different colors But maybe those two different colors will change because of our hands. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. Oh, no why? Eh, what's going on here? I, I, I've played with putty before. They've never been this hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's wrong? Okay, there we go. Oh, so here's what it looks like. Let's go ahead eh, and try to knead it What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put half of it on the side so we can see if there's actual color changing. So I'm just gonna hold it and hope for the best. So here's the original color and here's with my hand. And again, yeah, it's there, but whatever. Honestly thought it would be way more interesting, but okay. All right, so let's go ahead, twist it and pull. Pulls easy. It also stretches, but I'm pretty disappointed at the color change. I really don't see this as a perk to a mystery box, but maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. All right, so I'm gonna leave it out and then show you grains what it looks like in the dark. And here it is after being left out in the light for about 10 minutes, giving it a fair chance at glowing in the dark. So let's be honest, this is extremely pitiful glowing. Yeah, I, I think this is only exclusive because nobody wants it and it's garbage. And I'm not lying to you grains when I say that this is where everything goes downhill. Yes, these were probably the best things in the box because the next thing is something I will never, never Never eat barbecued worms. Oh hell no! So that's that's that. Obviously overstock because nobody else wants to buy it. Then we have sour gumballs because it's not like I could find it a store nearby. But let's see how sour they are. Not to mention gumballs this size. Oh, means you need the jaw of a camel. I mean, I am Egyptian, but okay. Go ahead and try it. <coughs> oh look, I have a camel jaw. Let's wait for the sour to kick in. I mean, they're pretty normally sour. They're not more sour than usual, so yeah, no. You know what I think about it? <laughs> Trash. Again, even though they do give this value to this here, I've seen the exact same ones at the dollar store, so I'm just gonna put this aside. Next, we get a single pack of Sour Pop Rocks. Basically, candy that pops in your mouth. Is it fun? Absolutely, yes. Is it worth putting in a box of mystery things for $40? No, and the extreme sour really isn't extremely sour. And the last thing for $48 is an oversized lip balm. Basically, if you want to hydrate your lips, you have a gigantic one. <laughs> Smells very cherry. Uh, and hang on, hang on, I got, I got, I got this. The edges are pretty sharp, so make sure that you put these down. So yeah, oversized because yeah, you'll you'll end up not using it because you have to keep it at home. I guess it's fine if you want to keep it at home, but and that's everything I got for about fifty dollars.
I have to say I'm actually pretty upset and pretty disappointed that this stuff was considered enough for $50. I know they have their value attached to it, but I just don't see that actual value because this is how much we paid and this is how much they're putting in terms of value. And so the price that I paid for it at $48.10 Canadian, let's convert that to USDs. And that's basically the difference in the price. For me, is it worth it? No, because there's quite a few things I'm just going to end up donating because they're not worth it for me. This is just overstock of, of things that nobody wants. So for me, the small box would probably rank a 1 on 10. Definitely, for me again, not worth the money. Alright, next. This large box cost me $80. Again, I'm saying Canadian money and the value that they're showing me is in US money. So I'm going to do all the conversion free frames up here into USD. Oh, is that a bug? Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> why is there? Ew. Why is there? Why did this come out of there? Why is there a beetle? These packages just came today in a bigger box. Hello, Mr. Beetle. Um... All right, Beetle, I'm just gonna help you. I really hope you don't have any siblings. Oh, come on, come on. There you go. Let's. Ah! <laughs> so, where were we? I don't want any more bugs. Please. I don't want any more bugs. I know they sent a barbecue bug, which I'm not gonna eat, but okay, here we go. All right, we start off again with more fluff. What do we have in here? Oh, already? This is looking like more value. Let's. <gasps> Oh my god! What? Okay, so far this is already better. Starting to be less salty, but let's go through these together. And so the first thing that caught my attention as I showed you grains right away is this mini arcade game of a really old game called Pac-Man. Probably one of the first arcade games that ever came out. And I remember this more specifically because my parents really were into Pac-Man and I think Space Invader. My dad really loves a game I think called Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's give this one a try and it does, oh, the fact that it comes with a USB charger and not batteries, that's even cooler. Oh my God, I might actually give this to my dad. Let's take for a spin. And the cute thing about this is that it really is the size of a credit card. Listen, the buttons have a good feel to it. So it definitely is quality. I don't know if it comes charged. But let's see. Oh, it does. Is there volume? Oh, there is volume. All right, let's see if that works. All right, do we start? <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god. Oh no, they're coming for me. Oh no, they're coming for me now. <laughs> no. Okay, that is cute, definitely cute. I think that's enough, but I really like this. And the other thing that got my attention was this plushie here. Now, some of you are probably like, why? What's so special about this plushie? But I will show you grains. They're basically called feisty pets. Now, if you get nightmares from scary faces, look away until I tell you because um, it's gonna do a scary face, okay? So if you don't like scary faces, look away until I say so, okay? But basically you press the back of the head and look at that. <laughs> it goes like rawr, rawr. <laughs> I really love this. It is adorable. It's go I'm keeping this one. Hands down, this stays. By the way, you can look again. I'm not, it's not doing any more of the scary faces. But definitely, this is adorable. I'm going to make a guess that these two items were probably the highest valued in the box, as you can see the price tags that were attached to each one as I brought them out. And then, oh, build your own rubber band shooter. That's fun. Okay, so far this box really has a good display of the fun stuff on VAT19. So I'm going to have to say that this is pretty cool and I feel like these are just one of those things that you do because you like to annoy people which I'm most likely going to end up doing and the fact that it has single end rapid type shooting that is hilarious oh and they give you a target that's fun and it shoots up to 25 feet this is going to be really fun to play around with next thing what are you oh okay so this is the extra rubber bands that come with it so we have a hundred more and then no <laughs> we get an oversized lip balm again. I seriously don't know who would want this. Even as trying to think of my own family members, I can't see who would like this. It's just so oversized, it's inconvenient. It's not funny anymore when something is convenient and inconvenient at the same time. Maybe that's just me. And then we have sour pickles. So I have no idea what this is, but let's go ahead and try it. This to me is interesting. I, it's not like I would eat bugs. 
Oh, that smells like pickles. <laughs> I like the smell of pickles, but I have no idea what this is. When I think of candies and oh my god, that is that is really really colorful. When I think of candy, I don't usually associate it with pickles. But let's go ahead and take a bite. Ew, what the heck is that? Sour pickle balls. How is this candy? It's just pure pickle jelly? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Is my tongue green? <laughs> what the? That is gross. It's gross, but it's interesting. So I can't be upset that this is in there because it's an experience. I'm still not going to do bugs. I know for those of you who want to say, But Jackie, someone's eating bugs. It's an experience. No. Certain people will eat bugs. But I feel like almost everyone would try something like this. Would I try it again? No. My fingers are stained. My tongue? I don't know. It's still green. Am I my teeth green? Probably. I don't know. I can't can't see that far. And next thing here is what are you? Birthday cake cookie dough bites. That sounds interesting. So I'm not sure if they're are they really more like a cake or like a candy? Like a soft candy? Again, this is pretty cool because again, it's an experience. It has one of this weird factor that basically again represents their website. So it looks like this. And let's try it out. And for those of you who don't know, birthday cake is Sika's favorite flavor of anything. And yeah, definitely vanilla-y, sprinkly flavor. This is pretty good. I can see myself saying, hey, you know what? I'm in the mood for this. So I like that. Pretty cool. What else? Okay, we have two more things in this box and then we're going to do the ultra mega box. This one is apple sour rock pop. Pop rocks. Something tells me they really like their pop rocks. It's basically the same thing as the other one. So I don't think I'm gonna try this because it's basically the same. And then, oh, that is a huge candy. These are usually really popular here in North America for Halloween, for trick-or-treating. It is definitely one of the cheapest candies you can buy and give out during Halloween if you're going to do mass Halloween giving. I'm not crazy about these, but my brother absolutely loves them, so I'm gonna give this to him. And so here is the total value of everything. Again, in USDs, and I did pay $80 Canadian, but again, here it is in USDs. US dollars and I feel like this box more specifically was more worth it in terms of the variety of things that you can get from their website and experiences a mixture of things that you can eat and things you can display versus things you can actually use so I'm going to rate this large box I would say an 8 on 10 now it's time for ultra mega box and as you can see, the box is not that much more different than the previous one, but it is significantly heavier. And for this box, I paid $160.35 Canadian. So let's go ahead and see what we get. There best not be a random beetle. That beetle traveled all the way from the US to Canada. Good for it. Good for its survival skills. All right, we're probably gonna be met with more floof cross. And, oh, that's quite a bit of stuff. Oh no. Okay, so I see this here, which is similar to what we got, but I'm not sure this is better than the medium box. Let me put it aside. I do see a plushie again. Let's let's put it aside and, and find out what's in there. So as I mentioned, the first thing that we got is the hazel nutty slime. I'm not angry. Again, I'm pretending as though I'm getting these boxes individually and not like I got the entire kit. So repeats don't count. This is actually a good slime. It smells nice and it has a good consistency. I personally use slime to clean my keyboards so it'll come in handy next oh my god <laughs> We have tiny hands. I've actually tried to buy tiny hands a few times and they were always sold out. So I'm really happy to get these. For those of you who have no idea what they are, hang on. Oh no. Oh my God. What's happening right now? Hey grains, how you doing? <laughs> So yeah, tiny hands are fun so you can, you know, try and pick up stuff like like this. I know it's it's very juvenile, but this is my humor, okay? Ah! <laughs> what? What did they call you? <gasps> How dare they? So yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with these. Next, what do we have? Brittles. So a slightly soft and crispy peanut butter fudge, kind of. Okay. Maybe that's a US thing. This is what they look like. Let's give them a try. <laughs> Smells like peanuts. Oh, this is very pleasant. Mm, that is a very nice snack. So it's not their weird stuff. It's just stuff to eat. Very nice. And let's see the plushie. Oh, we get another feisty pet. Again, it makes those scary faces. But this time we get a monkey. So again, if you don't like scary faces, go ahead and close your eyes. And so we're doing the scary face on the monkey now. So basically, 
I think these are absolutely adorable. They're really fun to have. And it's really cool that you would get it in, well, again, this is a complete mystery box. I'm gonna stop doing the scary faces now. But yeah, this cute little monkey is a nice little decor. I love the fact that there's purples on there as the accent color. And then, oh, what is that? Oh my God, that is huge. Okay, so we get another rubber band shooter and it has single shot, rapid fire, and a blast. So this is way bigger than the other one. So I guess it's a little bit more premium in this box. And I'm going to guess we're also getting extra rubber bands because I just saw it peek out of the box and the answer is yes. So we get an extra 100 bands, or is it? Yeah, so we get an extra 100 rubber bands. Again, I think that's really fun, especially if you're only getting this box. Next, what do we have? Oh no, no. I know these seem like fun, but I've seen the exact brand at the dollar store. So, but I can admire that this is made from recycled newspaper. I'm gonna go ahead and sniff a couple of them. Let's go for orange soda. <laughs> yeah, smells like orange soda. And I like the fact that each one comes in its own sealing scent container. Let's pull out bubble gum. <laughs> Okay, I smell it now. I was first smelling lead, but we're good now. And let's do one more random one, and this is watermelon. And yeah, smells like grass. I mean watermelon. Mix your both. <laughs> it is cute, and they do smell pretty good, but I've seen these at the dollar store. Just saying. So if I were working at VAT19, I would try and avoid things from the dollar store as much as possible. And this is snow cone. Okay, so I need to put this in the freezer. Mm, I can't say I'm impressed with this. It's just regular grocery store kind of thing. So yeah, not worth this box. Next, a Rubik's Cube. Oh, okay. So we have a light up Rubik's Cube speaker. Very interesting. Is it Bluetooth? I guess I'm going to give you grains a tour of it once I get it set up. So I'm gonna charge it and see if it syncs, if it's Bluetooth or you have to put in the SD card or something. But that's a cute little decoration. Hopefully it actually works though. And so here it is. Basically I'm syncing it to my phone. And let's listen to a couple of different clips of music. I'm not impressed at all because the lighting is just so inconsistent. I don't know if the beat is making it change or if it was just random. Honestly, Grains, I, I'm not crazy about it. And then what do we have? Twizzlers. So oh, come on. This is just grocery store stuff. Not impressed. Not impressed with that one. Twizzlers, Twizzlers are basically just licorice. It's just like gummies. It's not the same. I know it's not the same thing, but I think of it as like just hard gummies. It's not candy. It's just hard gummies. And then, okay, we have more of this candy, which again, very common for Halloween. And another sour apple Pop Rocks. I have to say that I don't feel like this is worth my 80, no, $160. Oh, wow. So, wow, I'm not impressed with this one. So for about $160 that I paid Canadian, again, here it is in US dollars, and the actual value of everything that was in this box, this Ultra Box really had less of a fun factor, and it just feels like near the end, they threw just basically anything they could in there. I'm going to say that this box is probably a six on 10. So if you really were looking for a mystery box from VAT19, in my opinion, the medium one, which was called large, is probably the one that has the most, I can't even and talk anymore. The one that has the most bang for your buck. Uh, yeah, I'm just not impressed with this and the bigger rubber band shooter. Moral of the story, mystery boxes are more of a disappointment than they are fun, generally speaking. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Raycon, who are huge supporters of this channel, thanks to you grades. For those of you who don't know Raycon, let me tell you about my favorite earbuds ever. <clears throat> Raycons are by far my favorite earbuds ever. Not just that, but they start about half the price of other premium brands out there with no compromise on sound. And one of the things that makes them sound absolutely wonderful is that they are noise isolating fitted because they come with gel tips that are so comfortable and unlike some other brands, they don't stick out. I mean, look, I'm even trying to shake them out of my ear and they're like, no, we stay in snug. Not only are they functional when Salty Crafter likes to listen to TikToks at night in order to decompress from a long day, but they have a 32 hour battery life. And they come in so many absolutely adorable colors that you're sure to find one that fits you. And Raycon focuses on you because they have a 45 day happiness guarantee. 
I really do love my Raycons because they really don't stick out and I can lay down on the pillow without feeling them kind of jabbing into me. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link down below by Raycon.com forward slash Nerdy Crafter to get 15% off your own Raycon purchase. Thank you Raycon for being such huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that these things are worth it or if I'm being a little harsh on them. Maybe it's just me. I just have strong opinions. Actually, I'm really happy with the tiny hands though. Because sometimes tiny hands are all you need in life. That's all I'm saying. Sticking to it. If you want to watch more mystery box unboxing, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something a little more crafty and creative, make sure you check over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.